Hi, so my name is Tracy Oconquo and I'm co-author of the book Before We Become Extinct, How Do I Get the Confidence to Wear My Natural Woolly Hair? Hello, my name is Davina Oconquo and I'm the co-author of Before We Become Extinct, How Do I Get the Confidence to Wear My Natural Woolly Hair? Okay, we started this project because we cut our hair down uh, about five years ago to a TWA, which is a teeny weeny afro. Um, we've got a lot of different responses from different people, but one of the responses we got very often was, wow, from our sisters, you know, but how do I get the confidence to wear my natural woolly hair? So they loved it, they loved the look, but they often asked us how we got the confidence to do that. Yeah. Uh, challenges that we had when writing the book, um, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's mostly our sisters just coming to get used to how their natural hair grows and the beauty of their natural hair and what they can do with their natural hair and the confidence to wear their natural hair and the book goes into that it gives you the tools to how to empower yourself to wear your natural hair and really love it because it's the original hair of humankind and we make sure our sisters really understand that so they can embrace it happily and confidently yeah I think a big concern the biggest question is just that confidence factor um, definitely because because every woman needs to see themselves in the beauty spaces and because that's not often done with black women they don't often see different styles they can do with their hair the different options they can do with their hair so that's really and that's really probably the biggest challenge but once we start to do it on mass we all support one another we'll all have different types of woolly hair so that will that will help yeah I mean I think one of the major issues as well that women worry about who have woolly hair is what they're going to look like in the corporate environment so they're often concerned about you know how will my hair look when I go to work so the book addresses that as well and you know tells us to basically just go back to what we used to do um, where we were much freer and still look very professional and very corporate yeah if I would give advice to my 16 year old self regarding beauty, it would be to be myself and just to definitely to embrace the, the natural hair. Keep it simple, your regime, lots of water, regular walking, get used to eating fruit and fresh vegetables as often as possible from a young age. That's definitely what I would tell myself. Yeah, I would tell my 16 year old self to not believe lies, particularly when they don't make sense. So often things that are a lie, you know, this whole issue with the hair is a complete lie. Yeah. Because we all know that woolly hair is exceptional so we always have to think about these these messages that are coming to us and whether or not they're lies or truth things have to make sense if things don't make sense then something's wrong and it doesn't make sense that something that's so versatile so unique so strong and that can do everything is something that should be covered people can contact us by going online to our, to our website which is www B for butter, W for water, B for butter, E for echo, T for tango, H for Harry, E for echo, B for butter, O for orange, O for orange, K for kilo.com. So you're literally www.wbethebook.com.